Hello everyone. We will continue the topic table expression. Now in the last video, I explained that whenever you are going for table expression, if the record is not in the internal table, system throws the runtime error. To avoid that, you know the practical of line exists. In the last video, we started with the practical of try and catch block. And we have written the logic for the same. Now I will explain you in the debugging mode how try and catch block will help us to avoid the runtime error whenever you are going for table expression. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint and I will show you both the scenarios. I will firstly activate. Suppose I will go for some input to the program. Suppose I'm going for one to 15 sales or a number. I will go to desktop three, most preferable desktop. Anyways, it's stick there. Now, based upon the input, whenever I will execute this query. So we have 15 records into this internal table. Now we are system will go to try block and we are reading the 10th number record from the internal table. Now 10th record is in the internal table. There is a record at index number 10 in the internal table. So system will simply, simply move the record to work area. Now you can see catch block has not executed because system has not raised the exception. If system will not raise the exception, system will not handle the exception. It means catch block logic will not execute. Now in this work area, we have the details of the record, which is at the 10th number index. On the 10th number index, we have sales order number 11. Yes, sales order number 11. This if condition is true and we are simply, simply displaying the data. Okay, this is another logic. You can see we are able to see this. This is what we need to focus. Forget about this. Okay, so you should not confuse. So I will comment this part, which logic is right. Now I will activate this program. Now right part is done. Now I will show you the negative part in which 10th record is not in the internal table. Suppose I will go for one to five. System will simply fetch the data from the database table. Now we have five records in the internal table. Now you are reading that 10th number record from the internal table. If you will simply write the logic system throws the runtime error. One option you used line exist. Now we are going for try and catch block also. System will go to try block. Now it will try to read the, it will just go, it, we have applied the table expression, which will move the 10th number record to work area. If I will simply do F6, have you seen this particular exception raised? This particular exception. Now, whenever exception will raise in the try block exception raised, we need to handle the exception. So catch block will handle the exception. Just see this object is blank as of now. Now, whenever this particular statement executed, have you seen the object is created? If the object is created, can we call this particular instance method? Yes, we can call this instance method. Now you can see LV underscore result. Whenever I will execute this method, this get underscore text method will return the message. What is the message? A regrow with index 10 is not in the table. This is SAP message. We have not given this message. We just call the method and SAP is giving the message. Now system will simply go to this part. Now this work area is blank because nothing is in the work area. So system will go to else part and we are displaying the message. This part is only only required 
if you want to display the SAP message based upon or using the SAP exception class. So this is another alternative also, which you can use to avoid the runtime error. What is third alternative? Third alternative is you can simply use value expression with optional keyword. If you remember, previously we studied value expression as a replacement of append. At that time, we used value expression as a replacement of append internal table operation. Now we will use value expression here also to just now here we will use value expression with table expression if you want to go for more detailed understanding. So how I will write? Simply copy, I will copy this logic. I will simply write Maximum time people will go for this also because this is most easiest way. Now, if I will simply write the statement system throw the runtime error. Now I will simply write value hash. Now do not forget to use the optional keyword otherwise system will throw the runtime error. I will simply use the word optional. You can clearly understand optional means what? It is not mandatory that we will get the record from this internal table. So this is another way to avoid the runtime error. Now I will write the logic. If LWA data is not initial, if the record is not in the internal, if the record is in the internal table, this work area has the data. This work area is not initial. We will display. Else part, we will go for a message. I will simply, simply go for the message. This is what we already did as a part of text symbol when I covered line underscore exists. You all know I created this particular text symbol and there's a message into this. No matching records found. So this is another way to avoid the runtime error. Maximum time people prefer line exists. Maximum time people, sometimes people prefer optional also, but it's not the case. You can go for whatever is your wish. You can use any of these options to avoid the runtime error. It's up to your comfort level. Now, if I will show you, do not forget to use optional keyword. Otherwise, system will throw the runtime error because system think that you want to mandatory read the record. Yes. I will go for F8. Suppose, firstly, I will show you, suppose, positive scenario. I'm going for input 1 to 10. Now, based upon the input, we have 10 records in the internal table. Now, now it will read the, this using this table expression, 10th number record will go to work area. And you can see we have the 10th number record in the work area. And we are displaying that. Now I will go for one to five as the input. I will go to execute. I will go to desktop three. Yes, most preferable desktop. Now we have five records in the internal table, but we are reading 10th number record, but it is optional. If it is there or not, their system will not even bother about this. That's why we used optional keyword. Now you can see there is no runtime error. Previously, if you are simply writing, there will be runtime error. Now this LWA data is initial. The system will simply, simply display the message. No matching cops found. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I showed you the practical of this. Firstly, I showed you the demo of try and catch block in that debugging mode. Then I showed you we have another alternative also to avoid the runtime error. You can use 
value expression with optional keyword. An optional word is itself is clearly understandable. Record is optional. Getting a record is optional. If it is there, we will get. If it is not there, system will not throw the runtime error. I showed you both positive and negative scenarios. Both in the positive scenario, this catch block has not executed. In the negative scenario, negative scenario means if the record is not in the table, we that particular exception raised. We handled the exception the exception we pass to the object, object created, and we are displaying the particular message. Same way I showed you with the help of value expression with table expression as optional keyword. So you can use any of these alternating, but most, most important question guaranteed it will be in any interview if interviewer is asking the question on SAP ABAP new syntax. So that's it in this video. Thank you.